Hey, how are you guys? Looking at bearings today. Um, nothing too major, still right angled trigonometry with the bearings, um, but I know that this is not your most favourite subject. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with the uh, the north, south and uh, east, west sort of uh, bearings we've got. Bearing that um, east is 090 degrees, south is 180 degrees, west is the 270 degrees, and then we've either got 360 degrees or 000 degrees. Notice I've always used the three figure bearings because they are what we call the true north bearings. Um, then we've got northeast, which we 045 degrees because it's exactly halfway between 0 and 90. Um, we've got 90 um, plus 45 is 135 degrees um, for uh, southeast. Southwest would then be, um, again, 225 degrees and then plus it on there uh, the, t the 25 on sorry the uh, 45 on we're going to have 315 degrees okay that pretty much takes our bearings the other thing is uh, if it's not a, uh, a true north bearing for example I could have that going through there um, that's north that could be let's say 10 degrees they might call that um, south 10 degrees east Okay, because we're going back 10 degrees east. Or alternatively, um, they could say that's 90 plus 80, 170 degrees true north. So there are two different ways to write your bearings. So sometimes they will alternate between them. Let's have a look at some questions. A boat leaves Sydney and travels 420 kilometers on a bearing of north, 37 degrees east. How far did the boat travel due north? to the uh, nearest kilometre. And they've been kind enough to draw it out for us. So we've got 37 degrees there. You can see we've got our triangle here. Um, a couple of ways you could do it. Look, using alternate angles, the angle inside there is also 37 degrees. Um, that's because it's, it's the Z angle, the alternate angle. Alternatively, you could have said 90 take away 37 and found the angle um, down in, sort of in, in there. Depending on which one you use, or depending on what rule you use. I'm going to use the 37 degrees, which means the X is adjacent, the 37 is hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse is cos, so cos 37 degrees equals my adjacent over my hypotenuse. I'm going to times the 37 across, and then simply put that in my calculator, 37 times cos 37. And it says to nearest kilometre, so X equals 29.5495. X equals 30 kilometers. So pretty straightforward. Um, again, had you used the theta down side here, you'd be using opposite over hypotenuse, um, which would be the sign rule, but it gives you the same answer. Next one, Joel walks north for 3.2 kilometers and then west for 4.4. What is his true bearing from his starting point? So they haven't given us anything. I do know that I'm walking north, so I'm gonna do my starting point. That's my north, uh, my north sort of southeast west bearing. I'm gonna start here, and he walks exactly north, so due north, up here for 3.2 kilometers. He then, I'm going to draw another sort of little bearing line on here, just so I've got my true north bearing, then walks west for 4.4 kilometers. I'm going to do it a little bit longer, so that's 4.4 kilometers. So you can sort of see my triangle coming through there. That's going to be a right angle because it's due north, due west. What is his true bearing from his starting point. So from his starting point means I'm here and means I'm looking for the angle all the way around. Alternatively, I can look at that angle inside there and take away from 360. So I've got my triangle, I've got my opposite side, my adjacent side, so I'm using 10. So 10 theta equals my opposite over my um, adjacent. Now I'm finding an angle so we're going to be putting in here um, 10, negative 1, or shift 10, 4.4 over 3.2. So I'm going to put that there. Oop. Shift 10, yep. And then type it in, 4.4 over uh, 3.2. So it comes out to be theta equals um, 53.97 dot 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 um, and it's the nearest degree so theta equals now noticing that 
that's just that pit part in there. I want the whole true north bearing the whole way around. So I'm going to subtract that amount from 360. Makes it a little bit easier. So 360, take away that amount, and I'm going to press my degrees button. So nearest degree, I get 336 degrees T for true north. And that makes sense because if I'm standing here, I'm looking at 336 degrees, that's going to be all the way around here, and that makes a bit more sense. Awesome. Okay, next question. Oscar drives at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour on a bearing of 125 degrees true north for 2.5 hours. How far is Oscar east of his starting position? Okay, a bit more challenge in this question. This was a um, one of part of the challenge questions in the exercises. So I'm going to start off with my north, um, south, or north, east, southwest bearing. Okay, so Oscar drives at a speed of 80 kilometers an hour on a bearing of 125. Well, 125 will put me down here somewhere like that. Gonna draw a nice big one, big line. Big diagrams are most important. And it's asking how far east. So I'm gonna draw a line across there, it's my due east line, and I'm gonna draw my little triangle here. You're always looking for a right angle triangle there. Now, we know that we're drawing 100, uh, 125 degrees, so if I take 90 degrees away from it, because that's 90 inside there, because um, we know that's the true bearing across there, we're left with 35 degrees, so we've got 35 degrees inside here. Um, now we know that he's going 80 kilometers per hour for 2.25 hours, so 2.5 hours. So I'm gonna times that by 2.5, so 80 kilometers each hour times 2.5, we got 200 kilometers. So this uh, value here, um, this is 100, so 200 kilometers, and it's asking how far east, so x. So now I can put my rule into action for adjacent and hypotenuse, so that's cos. Cos 35 equals my adjacent all over my hypotenuse. I'm going to take the 200 on the other side and do 200 times cos 35. So 200 times the cos 35, I get x equals 163.83 dot dot dot, x equals 164 kilometers. And that probably makes a bit of sense. It needs to be less than the 200 there, but it's still quite um, big. Alrighty, that's pretty much it guys. The bearings is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you have nice, big, clear diagrams. Don't make them small. The bigger they are, the better it's gonna be. Um, you know, and uh, just, yeah, try your best and see how you go. Have an awesome day.